In this video, we're gonna talk about Google in-app purchases. So my friend commented that, thanks, it works for me. Could you make a video to add IAP and said, I've been trying on my own and I haven't been able to. I'll wait for your video. So we wanna do it. Let's begin. Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video you know that we're gonna talk about in-app purchases or IAP for short. First thing first, you should just open your Google Play console and create an app. I did create it before. Let's just go to our app in Google Play console. So in Google Play console, we have some step to do. First, we should upload our AP card to internal testing. So in testing, if you go to internal testing, you can create your new release in here. But for in-app purchase to work, you should go to closed testing. So you should publish your APK in here for closed testing. If you create a track in here, you can upload your APK in here. So if, we, if I go to manage, you should select the countries that you want to test it in. In this case, I, I choose all the countries but for tester i put my emails in here if you go here you see i choose these two emails and i submitted for closed testing so closed testing it should be in closed testing so in a purchase work after you upload your apk and it take two or three days to be reviewed and published it will be published just to this emails that you set in here in testers so after you did this you can go to in-app in -app product go down in-app product on product in-app product and in here after your apk has been reviewed and accepted by them and it's activated after that you should create your product not before that because it doesn't work there is some bug with google play console i think so you should create your in-app product after your apk has been reviewed and approved and active so let's find out how we can add a new product just click on create product this product id is so much important for you because you want to use it in your app to get that product from google so i want to call it let's say navitest3 okay the name doesn't matter you can put whatever name you want to put and description doesn't matter you want to put it whatever you want and set price i want to say one try because i'm in turkey apply price and save and after that you click on active because it should be active so you can get that on your game and know that you're in closed testing and after that you create your product you can go to game maker no so in here I click on new game maker language and I want to call it IAP that's it the first thing that you should do you should go to your game option on Android because you want to use your IAP in Android this version is important you should increment it every time that you want to send your AP card to Google Play Console. This package domain, package company and package product is so much important. It should be the same as the first one that you upload in your uh, Google Play Console. Okay, first AP card, you should set this and after that you upload it to your uh, Google Play Console and after that you can't change it anymore so you should set it i want to set it like this because uh, it is the app that i uploaded before 
uh, in Google Play and, is, and it is in closed testing, so I want to use that tank battle. The version that I, uh, that I want to set in here is 5, but for you, you should set it on 100 because you're just starting your project. But in my case, because the APK that I uploaded to my Google Play console, it's at version of 105, so I put it in here to work. So after you did all of this, these are so much important. You should do that because otherwise it doesn't work. After that, you should go to packaging. In packaging, you should paste your Google license public key and nobody should know about that. You can just go to your Google Play Console and get that. So for getting that public license, you should go down in here and go to monetization setup and you you should just copy uh, copy this this uh, string in here we click in on this button and after that you can just paste it in here and everything is set up and it will work just hit on ok now all setup is complete but before that let me show you something else if you go back to your all apps and in here in your uh, all apps in here that will show your apps just go down and in license testing add your uh, users that uh, that you want to have that privilege to buy your product without any money and test it out just add it in here and you can see I did add this three email to my account and all the setup now is finished and we can start writing code so now that we set up our game in game maker let's just start coding first thing first just go to market I did create a asset in game maker marketplace so you can add in-app purchases to your project fast and easy in just a few minutes just go to marketplace search for in-app purchase and you see i did upload it just today and add it to your account of course i will put the link of this asset to description down below so you can click on it add it to your account and after that just go to marketplace my library and if you don't have in this in-app purchase just refresh it here refresh library download it by this link and import it to your project you need extensions these two objects i did create a button for the test but this obg google iap is so much important the sprite I, I did add an sprite so you can use it in your test project but you can create your own button so click add and import after that you can just close it in extension we have all the google play extensions we have these two objects and a sprite simple sprite for a button there is five steps to create your in-app purchase in your game just open this obg google iap open it open this create and you see the step one is here i did add two product here but you should add your product instead of this uh, so you see in here navi test one is id of the product that we create in google play console so you see the ID is Navi test one, Navi test two. No, I want to add Navi test three as well. So I can just copy this, paste it here, change the ID, increment this index two, and the step one is finished. No, just save it and go to async in app purchase in here. Step two is here. You see, we stored this ID in here. No, we should add it to Google Billing. Okay, so 
you should just copy this paste it here and increment this as well so this is the third product that we create together go down to a step three in a step three we get some information that google will give us about our product so i get the name and the price and put it in the list of names and prices so you can you can get whatever you want in here i will show you how you can so if you want to show the name of your product in whatever place you want just say global.iap names like this that i use maximize this uh, and you see i did show it in debug messages and in here i get the name like this and get the price like this after we run it you can show it in debug messages so this is how you can get the data that is coming from google and i will show you if you want to get another information not just name and price you want to get title you can of course do that like this two line of code after this step three you can go to a step four and in a step four you just say if the product that that client is buying is equal to product that is in my google console at 500 so if you go to create first product zero product is navi test one so we want to say if it's uh, product zero at 500 but let's just add for product number one this is product number zero we can add it here if it's equal to one just add 1000 to global gold money or whatever you have in your game so that is the step four if you go to button you see i did create a button just for testing if you go on tap if the client tap this button it will go here on tap event and in tap event we want to say just purchase in this line we want to say gp billing purchase product and product number zero so this button will purchase product number zero so that's it no you can go to your room and add this button to your room and this object just make this object a persistent if you click on this you can just make it persistent so it should always be uh, persistent so every event that coming from google you get it correctly so in this button you see i have a draw it's just for testing and i'm saying to show show the name of product number one but we can change it to product number number two okay and we showed the gold that is adding to the client account with global gold and we will show it on the bottom so now let's just run the app for android and you can go here click on android and the device that you want to install it on go to game option and in here go to android and then in android you just go to architecture and select all of this hit ok and now you can run it so you can see that the name of product number two is here and if we click it because in uh, let me show you because in tab function we say to purchase number zero uh, it will purchase number zero so let's just go to draw again and show the name of product number zero in here now let's just run it again so name of product number zero is here if we click it we can go and test it with the test card 
we, uh, that Google provide for us, there are some type of test card. Test card that always approve, test card always decline. A slow test card that approve after few minutes. But in this case, I wanna use test card always approve and click on one tap buy. That's it. And the gold should be added to here, 500. Let's go back in here. You see, I said if the product number one is purchased at 1000. So let's just change this to number one in here. And the purchase of number one on this tab in here. And now let's run it. And you see the player with client will buy product number one that add 1000 gold to uh, his money. And now when we click on this and buy, this will be 1000. Now that you learn everything, you can add it to your project. You can just copy and, pay, copy and paste this code uh, to your button that you want to show your client to tap this to buy this and change this index in here to product that you want them to buy and again go to create you can see that I add it in here I add the product ID in here go to a step a step two we add it in here as well we check all the information no about this information if we go to let's just go at top this this debug message that i create in here let me show you where i did put it that's it i did write this line of code to show the response that coming from google and in here it show it response is and in here you see response is sq details and in here you see if you want to get product id id just copy copy this and put it in here and you will get product id and if you want to um, get the type of it just copy this and paste it in here like this and it will get your product type so you can get whatever information in here by this line of codes. So now that, that everything is finished, let me explain it one more, one more time. Just create a project, or if you have a project, create a APK, or just go to build, create executable, and in here select AA Beach because um, Google Play Console accept AAB, not APK. So create this, and after you create this, go to uh, upload it to your internal testing on Google Play Console. After, after that, just upload it on closed testing. After it's approved by Google, you can create product and go in here, and you should, you should always know that this package domain package company and package product should always be the same ap card that you uploaded to your google play console and this version is important as well so it should be the version that you upload to your google play console that's it thank you very much for watching if you have any question please ask in comment section below i will create a video for every comment that you send hope you enjoy it thank you very much bye